Good morning guys, welcome back to another one. Today's probably going to be a bit of a short video, but I'm going to give you a garden update. Here's where we're at. Alright, so since the last time our peas have really come up, the pickling cucumbers are up, way up, as are the regular field cucumbers. Over here we got our tomatoes are up, our peppers are up. Over there we got some lettuce and romaine. We got one single tomato plant coming up here. And the oregano is starting to come up. Now what we're using here, this is just a biodegradable cup. And they weren't that expensive. I think I had about a hundred of these at one time. But And I can tell you that with these tomato plants, we end up with this. Which I'm about to open and eat right now. We stew a lot of tomatoes and a lot of different sauces. Jen makes all her uh, marinara sauce. Tomato paste, stewed tomatoes, I call them stewed tomatoes, what do you call them? Canned tomatoes, jarred tomatoes? I can just heat these up on the stove and eat them right out of the jar, but she kind of frowns on that. But it's going to be a while before these things get outside. Obviously, they got to get a whole lot bigger and we got to get a whole lot warmer. Uh, it's been a steady 6-7 degrees here, Celsius, uh, for the past few days. Hopefully it warms up soon. Uh, some of you may have noticed that... Uh, some of the pots got two in them. This one's actually got four in it, three in it, two in it. We're going to take those out and put them in their own pot. Another one over here. Well, that's the lettuce, so we're going to leave it. Sometimes you drop more than one seed in because you don't know that they're all going to germinate. Those ones all took, so we're going to take them out and put them in another pot. But these were all planted about two weeks ago. They're doing real well. These ones here were just planted on the 23rd, and these here are tomatoes. The reason we're doing that is we got a lot of tomato plants because we go through a lot of tomatoes but we don't want them to all come in at the same time so we stagger them so this set over here is a couple weeks old and this set over here is the 23rd not sure we're gonna do any more or not but the first thing we gotta do is get these ones over here separated get them in their own pots well it has been about uh, 10 days since I started this video uh, looking back, I think I may have wore the same shirt that I got on today. And of course, the neighbor's got to cut the grass. We got to get these plants separated here. Get them over into here. And we might not have enough pots there, so we might have to go a little bit bigger. But we got a mixture right now of cattle manure and dirt. It's not dirt. Dirt. It's a bunch of sticks and a little bit of dirt, but we're gonna get these separated and uh, put them in their own pots. Stick with us. What I need nice is that on that one. dirt to go back into those pots, though. So back into another pot. Into that pot there, I could put that back in again, but I need. Uh... All right. Put it back in. Hold on, though. I gotta get the. So, tearing it. Because I gotta get it back. I just wanted to fill it all the way because I need to get it back to the bottom. about that these aren't the best for taking apart and putting no. back together again. I mean it's fine this one's just over to Could the side. Could put in a now. big pot I guess. Yeah I know but these ones just go right in the ground so you don't have to transplant it a third time. Okay. Just put the pot right in the... I always seem to want to go up the side. Yeah it's okay though it's not gonna hurt anything. It's just enough to... So now we'll just top these off with the dirt manure mix. And get the rest of them done. They get a little bit bigger, then we'll start putting them in the garden. But that won't be for another few weeks or a couple weeks.
might ask yourself, why do you put more than one seed in a pot if you just got to separate them later? That's a pretty good question. However, you don't know what's going to germinate and what's not. So luckily, in this plant, four germinated. And I don't know how many were put in there, but four germinated. Now, these things here will act like kids. They're going to start fighting for the nutrients, just like kids fighting for candy. You're going to wake up one morning, and one of these poor guys is going to be knocked out because he went for somebody else's candy slash nutrients. And just like your kids, you have to separate them. So that's why we're going to take them all out. They each get their own pot. It's like they get their own room. Then they get planted in the garden. That's going to come in a couple of weeks. Maybe a week. Maybe 10 days. It'll come whenever she tells me to put them in the garden. We all know that. Well, that is going to do it. We got all our plants separated. They're all in their own pots. Over here as well. We have a look at our potatoes. Our potatoes are going crazy. All coming up. Now these here, they will come back. Hopefully. Right now it looks like they're having a nap. But folks, if you haven't seen the price of food in the grocery stores, and y'all been living under a rock, whether you live in an apartment, have a small backyard, or no backyard, or a small balcony, you take one of these five gallon pails, put some dirt in it, put a tomato plant in it, put a cucumber plant in it, and you grow your own vegetables. I don't know where things are going to go from here, whether it's going to get worse or going to get better, but we're not taking that chance. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. I will see you all in the next one. Oh, don't get to get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later. So this video was to show you about separating. Yeah. So you might ask yourself, why do you put more than one seed in a plant? In a pot? The reason we put three or four or five, sorry, you fall over, watered. See, everything's in their own plant.